लो यार बच्चो विल सी हाउ टू परफॉर्म द फोर ऑपरेशन ऑन द नंबर रिटर्न इन स्टैंडर्ड फॉर्म विल बी फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल डिस्कसिंग हाउ टू मल्टीप्लाई एंड डिवाइड दैम ठीक है एंड देन विल बी गोइंग ऑन टू द एडिशन एंड सब्ट्रैक्शन ठीक है अच्छा यू सी दैट दैट वॉज वॉट वॉज द पर्पज ऑफ लर्निंग दिस स्टैंडर्ड फॉर्म सो look at this this is 5000 times 3000 so first of all you should write this as 5 into 10 cube times 3 into 10 cube okay so when you have to multiply these two so you will multiply these two together and you will multiply these two together like for example if you have 2 times 3 into 5 into 4 so there is no harm in changing their positions it would still remain the same okay this is 10 times 12 and now we can multiply this easily similarly you can just uh, commute them this is called the commutative property here this is 5 times 3 and then this is 10 times 3 into 10 times 3 so 5 times 3 is 15 and when you multiply the tens their powers will be added this is 15 into 10 raised to power 6 so now is it is it written in the standard form this 15 into 10 is for 6 yes. hmm? is this in the standard form yes nay no, this is not yes. this should not be 15 this has to be 1.5 okay so if this number goes down this power will go up okay so this has to be 1.5 times 10 raised to power Seven. So that is the answer to this question. Here, where you were to multiply five thousand times the three thousand. Okay. Look at this. Uh, for for instance, if you have uh, let's say, um, like when you have to divide them, maybe uh, let's do the multiplication questions first. Okay. Look at the second question now. Can I write this as six into ten raised to power four times five into ten raised to power three? Okay, I just rearrange them. This is six times five into ten raised to power four into ten raised to power three. This will give me thirty into ten raised to power seven. Okay, and then you have to see that if this is um, in standard form or not so this has to be uh, a bit corrected here so this will be uh, 3 into 10 raised to power 8 if you if you write it like this now it is the the product of these two numbers in standard form theek hai uh, look at this 10th no nee, sorry uh, which question we should try yeah in question number 13 you see uh it says um let's say uh 13 with is asking for the order okay now look at this 11th question it says you have 2000 and then there is a cube on it okay you can write it as 2 into 10 cube and then there is a cube on it okay so this becomes um, 2 cube times 10 raised to power 9 remember when there is a power to the power powers get multiplied so your answer is now 8 into 10 raised to power 9 that is the uh, 2000 cube results into this theek hai acha similarly look at this seventh question now can you try the seventh question hmm <clears throat> sir we would put a minus Mm-hmm. Okay, in the seventh question, you have. Uh, let me write this as fifteen into ten times six into ten days per what minus four? Yes, because point okay. zero 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 six is ten days to power minus four. Okay, now fifteen into six. Let Let's rearrange it. Fifteen into six into ten into Ten days to power minus four, you will get ninety into when you multiply them, the powers are added. The the power one, so one minus four is going to give you minus three, and then finally your answer is going to be 
you need to write this in standard form. This 90 will go down, the power will go up. So this is going to be nine into 10 raised to power minus two. <coughs> that is the result of this multiplication. Okay. Similarly, if you look at this, um, um, yeah, can you try this fifth question? It says you have 8,000, 8,000, and then it is divided by 0 0.004. There are many ways of dividing them, but we are just trying to do this through the standard form method, okay? So this is um, 8,000. Let me write it as 8,000 divided by 0 0.004. So this 8,000 means eight times 10 raised to power three. Like that is how we are going to divide them. So this is four into 10 raised to power minus three, right? Okay. What is eight over four, bacho? That is two. And when you have these tens being divided, you subtract the powers. So this becomes 10 raised to power. There is uh, 10 raised to One. power three minus minus three, Hana. Right? So this will become 10 raised to power six. That is this, uh, the answer of this division written in standard form. Okay. Look at this uh, uh, ninth question, maybe. You have uh, 0 0.007 divided by 20,000. Okay. Now, we should write this point 0, 0.007 in the standard form. This will be seven into 10 raised to power minus three. And this 20,000 is two into 10 raised to power four. Okay. Now tell me what is this seven over two? What is seven over two? That is 3.5. And this is going to be 3.5 into 10 raised to power minus oh, yes. seven. Okay, the powers are subtracted. So that is how you're going to divide them. Okay, can you please try the uh, all these questions up to the 12th one, okay? From one to 12, try them. If you look at the eighth question and then the 12th question, I'll be a bit clever over here. Like you see, this is first of all, uh, 33. I'll not write this as 3.3, .3, okay? 33. Uh, and then multiplied by 10 raised to power minus six, okay? And I'll keep this five into 10 raised to power two. That is the eighth question, okay? So when I divide this uh, 33, I get 6.6, Hannah. Right? This is 6.6. .6. That is 33 over five, that is 6.6. .6. And then, uh, this is 10 raised to power minus 8. This is what you said, Muntaha, for this 8th one? Okay, okay, okay. Uh, okay, then uh, Samia, can you tell us about this 10th question? Did you try the 10th question? Um, sir, I have 1 into 10 raised to power minus 16. That is absolutely right. Because first of all, you will write it as one into 10 raised to power minus four. And then there is a power four on it. So when you, one raised to power four is gonna be one, and this is 10 raised to power minus 16. So that is how you do this 10th question. Okay, uh, who else is here? Uh, okay, anyone who would like to tell us how they have done this 0 0.00592? Yeah. Like I would in fact do it like this into 10 raised to power minus six, and then divided by eight into 10 raised to power three. I have kept this as 592 because I can cancel it out with eight easily. Uh, eight sevens are 56, eight, eight seven, eight fours are. So this is 74 times 10 raised to power minus nine. And then this would become 7.4 into 10 raised to power minus eight. Okay, this is how you will be doing this 12th question. Now let's see what do we have in the questions uh, after this 12th one. It says in the 13th question that write them 
uh, in in an order arrange them starting from the smallest so which one do you think is the smallest here mm -hmm. first one sir b yeah b is the smallest yes sir mm -hmm. uh, okay let's see that let let let's write all of them properly see. in standard form this goes down to so this is 10 raised to power 4 your b is uh, 4.78 it goes up the power comes down it is 10 raised to power 5 and your c is 4.9 into oh there was a division sign oh so that is first of all uh oh yes he has he has been very clever guys this is 0.0049 into 10 raised to power minus 7 look at this and then this would become 4.9 this goes up, this further goes down. Oh, this is such a small number. So the smallest of them is going to be the smallest. Why did I write 10 is for 10 here? 5.12, 10 is for 4. Oh, okay. So the smallest is the C. Then you have the A. And the biggest one is the B. Okay. So the smallest is, you see, you had to see there was a division sign over here. So when you change the division sign into multiplication, this would become 10 raised to power minus 7. Okay? Question number 14, it says if the number this is written in out in full, how many zeros follow the 4? So how many zeros will there be after 4? 11. Hmm? 11. 11. Anyone else? How many zeros? It is 15, is not 15? 13. 13. 13. There are going to be 13 zeros after this 4. And uh, because if you multiply, look at this. It is 2.74 times 10 raised to power 15. So if I make it 274, then there is 10 raised to power 13. Like, like you know, I, if, if I increase this number, this power should go down. Okay. So this is 274 times 10 raised to power 13. So there are going to be 13 zeros. Now let's see what do we have next in this uh, uh, 15th onward question. Please try them from 15 up to this 19 and then I'll discuss this 